what's up everyone, Saints fan back again, and welcome to another GTA 5 video. Today I have 10 plus awesome paint jobs for the brand new Spectre and Spectre Custom that just came out today. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you do, please drop a like, that'd be amazing, and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any other awesome GTA videos. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. So we'll start with the regular non-custom version of the Spectre. And by the way, these paint jobs are from the guys over on the GTA forums, which I'll leave a link in the description. They have some amazing stuff over there if you want to go check it out. There's even more in, or, you know, if you click on that link. But this first one, fairly simple, but I, I really like the way this one came out. The only downside, I don't know if you can get, like, a darker pearlescent, because, you know, during, or when it's, like, noon out and the sun is shining. What the hell is this guy doing? You can see it doesn't look as black as maybe you would want it to be, or as I would want it to be. But the all matte black look, in in my opinion, just looks super nice on this vehicle. I mean, the curves, the I mean, we have black on the rims, the tinted windows. You got the spoiler if you want to choose that. The back there, I think everything is just really nice. We even have black on the interior, so you can see that. It's just if you were struggling maybe to find something and you just want something simple, then you really can't go wrong with an all matte black look. The only thing, like I said, if you want to maybe test with it or play with it some more and see if you can find a darker pearlescent, that's the only thing I would recommend. And the other non-custom Spectre we have is this one. Super nice. Honestly, this isn't one of those cars that if you put silver or some sort of silver looking color on it, it's gonna look great and that's exactly what we're doing here so all this is is a brushed black steel metal color with an ice white pearlescent you can see that's what gives it the shine I mean the the metal already is shiny but then you get the ice white pearlescent you can mess around with some of the other stuff I just put black on the windows and then black on the rims but that is up to you for the regular version of the Spectre these are you know I think two pretty good options then the third one we got, this is the Spectre Custom, and most of these Spectre Customs, they're going to be without deliveries because just some of the stuff you, you know, some of the extra customization you get makes the custom look a lot better than the regular, in my opinion. But this one is a custom red with a bronze pearlescent. You can see the hex on the screen. All you have to do is put that on the social club for your crew color and, you know, save it, and then when you get in game, you will have it. But if you are a fan of the red-ish, orange-ish colors, this looks great. We have black rims, by the way, and you can actually change the color of the stock rims. And that's what we're doing here. And that's what you'll see on some of these cars. But this color, along with those black rims, I just put the drag spoiler on the back. You don't need to put a spoiler, or if you want to put a spoiler, you can. We have black on the interior and I believe that's actually it. There is somewhat of a front bumper on this car, and I believe there's somewhat of a back bumper as well, but that's, again, all up to you. The car itself, though, or the color itself, though, is great, like I said, if you are a fan of that type of color. The fourth one we have is a beautiful mix of yellow and black here. This is a modded yellow. Again, hex is on the screen. There's a silver pearlescent on top of it, and that's what gives it the somewhat of a shine that you see when the sun hits it in certain lights. There's also the black spot liver. I forget what it's called, but it's the livery that makes the roof black and it puts a little black line on like the curve there on the door. It looks super nice. Yellow and black are colors that go really well together. You have black on the rims. We got some pretty basic bumpers. And again, the drag spoiler on the back. You don't need to put that on. I just kind of, I like it. The spoilers, if you're wondering also, it doesn't affect the performance on the Benny's versions of the cars. So if you are one of the guys that, you know, race a lot and you know most of the cars, if you put a spoiler on them, it gives it a performance boost that actually doesn't apply to the Benny's vehicles. But this is a solid option if you are a fan of yellow and black. Now we're getting to a little bit of a crazy color combo here. So this is something that, and I have some other pictures that make it look a little bit better. This is a modded color. I'll go ahead and put the, I'll show the RGB here. So that is the RGB. I mean, you can mess around with it if you want to. And maybe you don't even like these colors. I just thought this is something that is unique and it's different. Whether or not you like these colors that, you know, together, the blue and the orange, you can swap those out for any other color combo that you might like. But I really like just the uniqueness of it. It's not, it's not horrible. I mean, I guess some hardcore car guys might not appreciate this or might not like this, but 
if you want to stand out, this is definitely one of the ways. We got the, you know, the bolt-on, the fenders, you got the skirt there, the bumpers, that's all the secondary color, and then the rest is the the blue color, the primary color, and then we also have that black livery to make the black on the hood and a little bit on the door there. As for the rims, the dude who made this color or made this car actually put these carbon rims on. That's you can change those if you really want to. But I think, you know, it's not bad. It's not anything like this wouldn't be one of my top cars, but I wanted to include it because of how different it is and how unique you can potentially make your version of the Spectre. So hopefully this gives you some inspiration. Then we have one that is a super amazing green color. This one is another modded color. I'll put the hex on the screen, but we have the black rims and the black tinted out windows. We have the big spoiler on the back. We also have the yellow livery. Unfortunately, you can't get rid of the gray, so that kind of sucks, but the yellow, I think it's like a do yellow. That's why for the secondary, you can see on the skirts and on the bumpers, and even on the interior, I put a do yellow, but if you want to change it up, if you don't like do yellow, then you might want to put a race yellow instead. As for the interior, I want to say something. The reason the, the seats are yellow and not everything else is because I put carbon on the doors and then I think it's carbon on the dashboard. So it makes those black while still having the yellow interior color, but it doesn't make it too much. So that's why I kind of like the look of it. And it's just, it's a simple looking car. Honestly, this car might be one of the better looking ones in terms of like just how simple it looks. You know what I mean? So if you like green, you like yellow, def definitely, you know, this is a solid option. Now a little bit crazier if you like that all matte black look, but then you want some color in your car. This is the one for you. We have the Brawls livery on, which you can see adds white, yellow, and that fluorescent blue. We have the big old spoiler on the back, which I believe is the last one because that gives you the livery on it. We also have the bumper that gives you the livery on it. The skirt is just like a pretty standard skirt. And then obviously fluorescent blue on the stock rims just to match the color on the livery. As for the interior, you can see on this one, I don't have the carbon doors. So we actually have white on the doors and then white on the seats, but I do have the carbon dashboard. So that's why you don't see the white on it because the, the white on it kind of makes it a little bit too much. But this is one that, you know, it's fairly simple to make, doesn't take much to it. And if you just, if you like the color black, you know, this is one of the better options in my opinion. And then probably my favorite, this car right here is, or this color is just so beautiful. This is a blue and white. The blue is a modded color. The pearlescent, you can sort of change dependent on your taste. If you want a darker blue or a lighter blue. I believe I went with a harbor blue for the pearlescent on top of the modded blue color. But it just looks so nice, so simple looking. You got the black on the stock rims. You got the blue on the front bumper, the white livery stripe that goes down, and then we have white on the interior. You can see this one, there is no carbon. We have the white seats, the white doors, and the white on the dashboard. Overall, like I said, this might be my favorite one just because of how I love the color blue, I love the color white. So, you know, these other ones are good looking, but to me, this one is definitely the best. Now, if you do want to keep your car simple, but you do want it to stand out, this might be the one for you. This is a, a green apple, I believe, color. I, I forget exactly the name of it, but it is a modded color. I put a cream pearlescent on to give it somewhat of a shine. And then to sort of match that cream pearlescent, I put cream on the interior. And I think it actually turned out pretty nicely. I mean, we got black on the tires. If you want, maybe you could black out the or the windows so you, you get some more black in there. But I think overall, it's a pretty solid car. If you do, like I said, want to be simple, but you want your color to pop, you want your color, or your car to stand out, say at a car meet or just driving around in free mode. This is definitely, you know, one of the better options for that. And then last but not least, this is the car we started with in the intro clip. But I don't know, you, you really can't go wrong with just something as simple as this. This is a custom version. By the way, I absolutely love these rims. These are the solar rims in the high end category with a black paint job on them and they it just looks so nice now the color it's a it's not a i think no it is a it's a frost white it's not an ice white so it's not as bright as the ice white so it doesn't stand or doesn't glow as much but i mean just look at this in the 
you know, shadows or whatever you want to call in the little structure building here. It just looks so good. And this one also has that black livery. I love that black livery because it puts the black on the top and then black on the sides there. But if you do want to keep it simple and you don't want the black like I showed at the beginning, the matte black, and you want to keep it simple with white, you really can't go wrong right here. But that is it with the video. That's the 10 cars that I have gameplay for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I have a few extra pictures from some of the dudes over in the GTA forums. Like I said, the link will be in the description if you want to go check out the post that they all contributed to. Hopefully some of the pictures, hopefully some of the cars that I've showed in this video did give you inspiration for your own version. And hopefully when I do car shows in the future for this car, you can bring a pretty badass looking one to it. Anyway, please drop a like if you enjoyed, like I said at the beginning. Subscribe, all that stuff as always. I will see you guys in the next one.